Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm gonna remake one of my tutorials on Dynamic Blood. I know it got pretty popular, so I'm just gonna kind of like revisit that and make it a little more optimized for performance and definitely aesthetics. Um, still make that sprite, uh, the blood sprite, where it's just a circle, you know, whatever size. I'm gonna do 24 by 24. Zoom in, solid red there go image smooth edges and by the way this also works in um, studio 2 I would do it in studio 2 but I just didn't really want to um, alright so we have that sprite just that's all you need is a blood sprite now we need a blood controller so obj blood <coughs> controller Cool. And not a create event. And in this create event, we need code. And this is going to be create the blood surface. We're going to be using surfaces in this. So surf equals surface create. And this probably isn't the most optimized way to do it, um, just because you're creating such a large surface if you have a big room. You can create this. Um, based on the view size and kind of like carry that uh, with the view but I've I've never tried that it could be kind of complicated so I'm just gonna do it this way it's gonna be room width and room height and uh, if you go into the destroy event and like the room end we have to um, destroy the surface to make sure that yeah you know like the blood doesn't carry over to your menus or your pause menu or whatever you have in your game so we just do surface uh, free and our surface is surf and then we also do the same thing in game end and room end so we can duplicate and then other uh, room end and it should still be in there and we duplicate it again and do uh, other and then we do game end and there we go and then if you go to draw this is where we gotta draw the surface draw blood surface alright so if um, we need to check if our surface exists and if it does that's when we draw it so then we do draw surface surf and a starting point would be zero zero and then else we need to create it so surface oh, surf equals surface create there we go so basically what's it this is doing it's kinda like a loop in a way so if our surface exists, we're going to just draw it, and that's it. That's all we're doing. We're just drawing the surface if it exists. But if it doesn't, we create it, and then it's created, so it, it recognizes it and draws it. And that's it for that. And also, this depth is however deep you want the blood to be. Positive numbers would be um, more towards the background, if that makes sense. Not towards your screen, towards the background. So uh, we're just going to make mine 100 for you know, example, purpose, whatever. And then we need to create the blood. And this is where things might get a little bit tricky for you guys, but it's not that big of a deal. So add event, create is where we set up the blood variables. Uh, so we're going to say... Uh, image x scale oops equals random I can't type today random range between uh, say 0 0.3 and like 1.2 or something like that I don't know um, so you're just setting the x scale of the image to be in between 0 0.3 and 1.2 but you want to keep it 
the same aspect ratio you don't want your you know you don't want an oval you want it to stay a circle um, unless you want it to be an oval then you guys can do it however you want but I would like it to stay circle so I'm gonna set the image Y scale to equal the image X scale and that maintains our aspect ratio and then if you guys have multiple sprites uh, in this or multiple indexes in the sprite to like change the tint of the blood then you just say image index equals you know choose between each of your individual um, indexes but you'd also have to call a randomized event or they'll all stay the same um, so now we need to add a few variables to like define direction and the speed and the friction so we're gonna say vary um, actually no you we don't we don't need to vary. Um, we're going to say movedir equals um, random 360. So it's going to move in a random direction within 360 degrees, which is a complete circle. So now we could say move speed equals random range between. Uh, 20 and 42 and now we can say friction equals and this is where a little bit of math comes in so we're just going to say random range between and we're going to take our move speed divided by 8 by our move speed divided by uh, two, and you can change these values. You can do ten and six, or ten and two, whatever you want. That's just this would be a smaller number, and this would be a greater number for the friction. But it's all just based on speed. So, kind of also keeps it uh, relatively the same there. And we could say size change equals, and we're gonna say random range. Uh, we're going to say image x scale divided by 10 and we're going to say image x scale divided by 3 and like I said the higher number you divide by the smaller uh, this parameter will be and the bigger it is the bigger this parameter will be so that's just our size of the circle the size of the sprite is changing that's it so these are all the variables you really need to set up your blood uh, you can add more if you know what you're doing. You can add less if you just need some super simple blood. But that's all up to you. So now we need a step event. And this is where we fade and control blood movement. So we're going to say image x scale minus equals size change. And then we're going to say uh, image y scale equals image x scale. We have to update that instead of just having it in the create, you have to update it in the step event too. But uh, that's just maintaining aspect ratio, and this is changing the size here. So then we're going to say if our move speed, remember we set that variable up, that's just us moving. So if it if we are moving, if it's greater than zero, we're going to say image, uh, that won't work, but, okay, image alpha, uh, minus equals random range between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. And you will not see this. You won't see it fade because we're on a surface. It's already been drawn. It won't fade. But it makes it destroy the instance whenever this happens um, and also it's gonna happen whenever our X scale is nothing so essentially we are destroying the instance but it's it's being drawn to the surface forever so it's not gonna use any extra performance or anything or drain your performance it's gonna stay pretty decent so move speed equals choose I'm going to say move speed uh, zero or friction. So 
basically your move speed you're either going to keep moving it's going to be zero or it's going to be the friction which the friction will eventually stop you anyway so now we're going to say if instance exists and we have to check for our blood controller because that's where we control the surface so if this exists we're going to say surface set target so we have to know what surface we want to draw to and that's going to be this object oops I copied too much that object dot surf and then we're going to say draw sprite ext and we're going to say spr blood I'm going to say image index even though we don't have any other images x y image x scale image y scale Remember, we got to maintain that aspect ratio the rotation image angle even though it's just a circle it's not going to make any friggin difference um, the color is always C white for clear and the alpha will be image alpha and then we also need to uh, reset our target so we're not constantly drawing on the surface reset target cool so there we go now we just drew our blood to this surface so if if our surface is created basically and our surface is being created by this object so if the surface is created through this object we're gonna set the target to be the surface that this object created which is called surf then we're gonna draw the sprite which whenever you draw it after you set the target you're drawing it to that surface and then so we don't keep drawing every single sprite after we create this blood to the surface we have to just reset the target to the standard surface the application surface so now we're just gonna destroy it so if image x scale is less than or equal to zero instance destroy there we go and now we just need to actually move the blood um, so you see the movement so we need to add a end step event move blood and this is just a few simple things x plus equals length dir x and we're gonna say move speed and move dir and we can just copy this and paste it and just say y and why so that's when we're actually moving the blood okay cool so now we need kinda like a test object to create this blood so obj um, create blood so now we're just gonna say add event um, step step if mouse check button pressed and we're just gonna say uh, let me just space this out a little bit and we're just gonna say mm, instant now we're gonna say repeat and however many times you want the blood to be created usually 15 is good so we're gonna repeat this 15 times and we're gonna say instance create and in Game Maker Studio 2, it'd be instance create layer. And then we'd say mouse x, mouse y, obj, blood. Now that's it for that. And we're just going to say create blood. And that's all we need for that. Cool. So then we say room, test blood and I'm going to set this to be 720p so 1280 by 720 and 60 FPS make this grid 16 by 16 objects add in our uh, blood controller add in our create blood check run the game and let's see how this turned out alright um, cannot use 
uh, for an if statement. Oh, I forgot to say something. And B left. There we go. I'm pretty stupid. There we go. Alright, so there's nothing here. Bam, blood. There we go. And if you guys add some, like, uh, screen shake and everything, that'll be pretty cool, too. Yeah. So there's some blood splats, and they stay here forever until you reset the surface. Or free the surface. So, yeah. That's how you make dynamic blood in Game Maker, similar to Hotline Miami. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just leave them in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.